How do you let him make that, bro? Bro, I would never let someone like Kyle Lowry score on me, bro. It's a fish, relax. What do you expect? You're out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, man. Come on, man. Oh, fucking shit. Mom! Mom, come outside. There's a fucking moose. Or a buffalo or some shit that fight. Where the fuck are you Bro, this dude is a dumbass. Mom! It's a deer. Holy shit. We got the NBA 10 years ago. Man, what the NBA looked like 10 years ago. It is 2019 when this video was being made. 10 years ago. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, two thousand one, right, right, or two thousand? They already know. They, they found out Steph Curry's coming back in March, so they're trying to turn up, turn up. Wow, Lillard's just having one of those nights where you just can't miss. I can relate to that because I do that a lot. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's Jordan. Bro, what? Oh my god. Now I thought the Earth had a thing called gravity. How was a broom doing that? So, this is what the new challenge consists of, just bouncing out of broom. He's lucky, because I don't know how it's not falling. <laughs> Bro, cows really eat that grass, that dried up ass grass, instead of a nice cheeseburger Jeez. or something. See, Reddick is a casual. That's, that's bust material, even though he made the layup. No hops or nothing. No athleticism. No offense, but Reddick reminds me of, you know, Mopey from Two Height. Bro, you know what's crazy? I just realized he didn't even make the All-Star game. Like, Jay Morant and Morant and um, Zion Williamson, like, that's going to cap it off, man. Hey, man, comment down below. You think Kyrie is going to win rookie of the year? As you guys know, uh, Damian Lillard is my second favorite player in the NBA. Right in front of Curry. He has a book bag on. Who shoots with a book bag, bro? You just missed the layup. Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, and Allen Anderson. What? Oh, okay. Bro, if I played in that time, bro, I'd be averaging 40 points, bro. Bro, for real, bro. Bro, I'm not even trying to be mean because people that grew up, you know, in the 50s and 60s and watched that basketball during that time period, bro. But you put me in any era, like in the 1930s, through like, I say probably like the. 99s, cause that's when the NBA started to get a little bit more athletic, athletic and shit, bro. Like I'm averaging 30, 40 plus points a game, bro, with ease, bro. Going down as a legend, great in history. You know what I'm saying? Breaking all types of scoring records, bro. Like look at the way these dudes played back in the day with like no um, color in the television and everything, bro. They have like no coordination. It's like they weren't even supposed to be playing basketball. It's just like their parents told them to play basketball so they can get a free college offer and shit like that. Like you can tell. You know what I'm saying? But me, it's just, I have God-given natural talent, you know? So. Like, Conley is literally the only reason, like, the Grizzlies are relevant right now, bro. Or if they're even in playoff position. Like, Conley's been carrying the Grizzlies since he's got to that team, bro. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't care what you got to say. All I do is ask for the city of, uh, or state of Portland. Portland's a state, right? Yes, that's what I thought. Uh, the state of Portland. Um, I don't care, uh, but the Blazers are officially my second team. The Warriors are still my number one team. Still a Warriors fan at heart. You know what I'm saying? Still my number one team, but the Blazers are my second favorite team. And the reason is because of Damian Lillard. And I have all rights to say I'm a Damian Lillard fanboy because I was always supporting Lillard since he came out of college. Uh, since And if you were a real fan of me, you would know that I was always a Damian Lillard fan just as much as Curry. If you paid attention to my old NBA Live videos, I used to like upload like NBA Live videos like on this channel before it like died out and stuff. As an NBA, you know what I'm saying, high knowledgeable uh, analyst and fan. It's really getting ridiculous how the All-Stars, you know what I'm saying, weekend is getting voted. Like, I don't know who is finalizing these votes, but we have the East Pool of the Reserves um, for the 2020 All-Star game this year. All right? Now, something I'm really upset about 
is I see like two, three players on here that I have never heard about before. Let's start off with this guy right here, Chris Middleton. I honestly have never heard of this dude until the other night since he, he scored like 50 plus points. Congratulations to him, but he will never be in the Hall of Fame, bro. Look, look, keep doing your thing, and I'm not trying to discourage anybody from this. You know, I'm allowed to voice my own opinion, but Chris Middleton, bro, does anybody own anything? Does anybody even follow you on social media, bro? Like, bam, ad bio. All right, man, look, I'm about to just end this video off, bro. Like, did they just recruit this guy? Like, this, bro, I feel like this dude right here is sitting on a, a three-game contract right now, bro. I have never heard of this dude before. You know what I'm saying? Where's people like, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're in the East Pool because I feel like what I was about to say was the West, so I stopped myself. Kyle Lowry's cool. Ben Simmons, as much as I don't appreciate and like his game at all because he's a clown, he deserves to be in there. Jason Tatum deserves to be in there. Jimmy Butler deserves to be in there. DeMontis Sabonis. Bro, like, is this a joke right now, bro? Like, where's look at my mouse right here? One, two, three. I have never heard of these dudes before in my life, bro. Buy a car your way at Westway Ford. It was very simple. We worked out all the details. Oh. Oh, okay. oh. Oh. Yeah. oh! I just can't see you. I didn't touch nothing. I didn't touch nothing. Y'all don't look between my legs. That's what I thought. No, bitch. It literally was like this. Bro, nothing touched me, bro. Absolutely Dude's just cheating right now, bro. I touched him. I didn't see that. Yes, you did. Oh. Bro. Bro, you know damn well I wouldn't have my legs so perfect. No homo. Like, <laughs> if anything, the court moved while like the ball was so, going through his leg. So it looked like it hit him, but it actually did. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying, bro. And open up your mouth just like you did. Say ah. Whoa. Is that a lion, bro? Seals don't make that noise. <laughs> They're putting sound effects in the shit for sure. Ew. They're sharing fries, bro. That's how Ebola starts. Even the boy in the video wrote a letter in her favor. Yeah, she's be took you one thousand. She's not even really doing anything that's like, you know, cringy or pissing me off type stuff. Like, I've had plenty of teachers do this in my past when I fell asleep plenty of times in class. Whenever you coming down, whenever I was coming down from being high or just didn't get enough sleep the last day of school, the last night of previous school. Okay. You're freaking a hundred thousand feet in the ocean. What do you expect? What are you a being chased by? A eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase her doggy away. What can an eel do? Sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are. How? To, what can an eel do? Chase someone away. Oh my gosh. Amber's oh. shoot out of the middle of a frayed wire that is still hot and fully charged. Wow. It looks like the wall is going to catch on fire at any moment, especially here, 23 seconds into the video. Oh my gosh. Bro, get some water, bro. Bro, they got horses in California? Or was this film somewhere else? Or horses are everywhere, I don't know. This is water, by the way. H2O. I feel our steps in Yo! Is there like something conspiracy about it? Like, were they trying to symbolize that they was trying to get married? I know I'm not the only one that's... Now, this, you know, that's a sensitive type topic, you know, but... Were they trying to be best friends and just make them the dog owner? Or were they trying to symbolize them getting married and promote something else? I'm looking at the conspiracyness of this stuff. I'm just wondering. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense, y'all. Okay, what are they doing? The seal can't understand what you're doing. What is that? Yeah, it looks like a... It's an albino seal. Classe DC reacts. Classe Someone spelled the uh, sure thing wrong. Reacts.